Novak Djokovic is a Serbian professional tennis player with an estimated net worth of $220 million. Djokovic is undoubtedly one of the best tennis players of all time, after a career filled with impressive victories. He is the first ever player to hold all four major titles on three different services in the world of tennis. He is also the only male tennis player to have won all nine Masters 1000 tournaments. Over the course of his career, he has been the top ranked player by the ATP on five separate occasions. He is best at what he does and he doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. His Early Life Novak Djokovic, born on May 22, 1987, in Belgrade, Serbia, is the oldest son of his family with two brothers, Marko and Jordi Djokovic. Born by Sardan and Dijana, Djokovic was raised together with his two siblings in the beautiful city of Belgrade. His parents were both professional skiers, and they also had a restaurant in Serbia. His parents also launched a new restaurant and named it after their son Novak. Djokovic's younger brothers, Marko and Jordi, are also professional tennis players. At a very young age, he was given a mini racket and a soft foam ball by his parents. His father claimed that these toys were his beloved toys. Djokovic started playing tennis at the age of four. He was sent to a nearby tennis camp by his parents, and after watching other people of his camp play tennis, he developed a keen interest for the sport. As he grew older, he became better at the sport. In 1993, at the age of six, Djokovic was sent to Tennisky Club Partizan Tennis Camp. It was at this camp that he caught the attention of Jelena Jencic, who saw the young boy's potential immediately. Jelena was a Serbian tennis and handball player and coach who became a junior tennis coach in the 1970s. Seeing the young boy's potential, Jelena trained Djokovic personally for the next six years, after which she sent him to Germany to train under Nikola Pilic. Djokovic trained for four years at Pilic's academy, and this was the beginning of his junior career partway through his tennis education, his career. Djokovic began his international career at the age of 14, after winning singles, doubles, and team competitions in European championships. By 2003, Djokovic was a pro tennis player, but he did not make his first Grand Slam appearance until 2005 after qualifying for the Australian Open. In the same year, he also performed well at Wimbledon at the US Open. By 2006, he had reached the top 40 best players of the world rankings. In 2016, he won his first ATP title at the Dutch Open and a further win at the Moselle Open put Djokovic in the top 20 world ranking. In 2007, Djokovic broke into the top 10 of the world ranking for the first time. That same year, he wowed tennis fans by beating Nadal, Andy Roddick, and Federer to win the Rogers Cup. Those were the top three ranked players in the world in 2007. He won his first major title in 2008 at the Australian Open and to wrap up the year, Djokovic won an Olympic bronze medal and his first ever Tennis Masters Cup title. In 2009, Djokovic strengthened his position as the third ranked tennis player in the world after reaching 10 finals and winning five titles. His wins only got better. The following year was another successful year for him, and by 2011, Djokovic was on the number one spot on the world rankings for the first time. That year, he won 10 tournaments in total, including the Wimbledon, Australian Open, and the US Open, although he had a back injury which led to a disappointing end to the season. Djokovic's accomplishments that year was considered one of the most impressive achievements in sporting history by various commentators, and we can't agree otherwise. After the disappointing end of season, Djokovic came back strong in 2012, winning the Australian Open once again. He finished off the year by beating Nadal at the 2012 ATP World Tour Finals, landing him in the top spot for the second time. Djokovic won the Australian Open once again in 2013, although he eventually conceded the number one ranking to Nadal in 2014. A wrist injury he got that year hampered his success, but he returned to beat Nadal at Wimbledon, reclaiming the number one world ranking. Djokovic is well known for his rivalry with Rafael Nadal, and the two players have produced some of the most interesting and entertaining matches in the history of tennis. Due to Djokovic's accomplishments in 2015, many consider that year to be one of the greatest tennis seasons of all time. In addition to winning a vast number of titles Djokovic won, he won against Nadal at the French Open. By 2016, 
2018, his lead in points over his rivals was becoming almost insurmountable. That year, he completed what the media called the Mile Slam by winning all the four major tournaments. Unfortunately, various defeats that same year had Djokovic finishing with second place ranking. 2017 was one disappointing year for Djokovic, as he was defeated by a player ranked outside of the top 100 at the Australian Open. As a result, and with the intent of finding a winning edge, Djokovic fired his entire coaching staff and Andre Agassi was hired as his new coach. Unfortunately, he missed most of the season due to an elbow injury and in 2018, he underwent surgery on his elbow partway through the season. He returned to form that same year and won the career Golden Masters. Eventually, he returned to the number one spot in the world rankings. In 2019, he won the Wimbledon and the Australian Open. As of 2020, Djokovic is still the top-ranked tennis player in the world. His net worth and earnings. Ever since he turned pro in 2003, Djokovic has won over $145 million in tournament prize money. This means that in terms of on-court earnings, he is the highest earning tennis player of all time. Djokovic also set a new record in 2011 for the most prize money won in a single season, earning the sum of $12 million. In 2012, Novak signed a five-year brand ambassador deal that was reportedly worth 8 million euros per year with Uniqlo. Djokovic has also signed numerous deals with brands such as Seiko and Mercedes-Benz. He ended his deal with Uniqlo after the five-year contract lapsed in 2017 and became a brand ambassador for Lacoste. Between June 2017 and June 2018, Djokovic had earned about $24 million from his salary and endorsements and between June 2018 and June 2019, he earned a whopping sum of $50 million. That is about twice his earnings the previous year. Between June 2019 and June 2020, he earned himself $45 million. When Djokovic won Wimbledon in July of 2019, his total career earnings were $133 million, beating the previous record held by the Man he defeated Roger Federer, who had earned the sum of $124 million. Presently, he has earned $144 million in tournament prizes alone, topping Federer's $129 million. A large percentage of his earnings each year comes from endorsements with brands like Lacoste and Peugeot. His deal with Lacoste alone pays eight figures annually. His personal life and lifestyle. Novak Djokovic met his wife, Yelena Ristik, when they were both in high school. They later started dating in 2005, and in 2014, the couple was married. That same year, they had their first child, Stefan. They later had their second child, Tara, in 2017. Novak is friends with Anna Ivanovich, who is also a Serbian tennis player. They have known each other since childhood. One would think tennis is the only sport that appeals to this pro player, but don't be too surprised that outside of tennis, Djokovic is an avid soccer fan. He is also known to meditate for up to an hour each day, and he is a member of the Serbian Orthodox Church. With a net worth of $220 million, you would agree that Djokovic and his family are now set for life. However, Djokovic never forgets to give back to his community. His Novak Djokovic Foundation is an educational initiative for underprivileged children. This foundation has managed to build and repurpose more than 18 schools and has helped over 10,000 children to date. Djokovic has also participated in a lot of charity matches that produced funds for the reconstruction of the Avala Tower, as well as to aid victims of the 2010 Haiti earthquake and 2010-2011 Queensland floods. The tennis pro player has also been known to donate his prize money generously from time to time. Back in 2014, he gave an unspecified amount to Serbian flood victims. Apart from money from his personal pocket, his foundation also shelled out an additional $600,000 for their relief relief efforts. Djokovic certainly carries himself in a cool, calm, and collected demeanor, but this does not necessarily mirror his style on the court. On the court, he is quite the opposite. Djokovic is an aggressive baseline player, whose legendary ground strokes from both wings are considered deep penetrating and consistent to a fault. His flexibility, length, and balance are at top notch. Truly, he is one of the true greatest of all times of the world of tennis. Once it is all said and done, Novak Djokovic will indeed go down as one of tennis's all-time greats. His hard work and dedication has brought about his unrivaled success on the court and has resulted in him amassing a truly impressive net worth in 2021. The 33-year-old Serbian sensation has only embodied greatness ever since he turned pro in 2003, and he has continued to improve as time has passed. He is currently ranked world number one in the men's
men's singles rankings. And with that, we have come to the end of today's episode. Thank you for staying with us. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel and switch on your notification bell. That way, you get notified whenever we drop other amazing videos. Share this video with your friends and let us know what you think of Novak Djokovic in the comments section. Till next time when we will be bringing you yet another exciting episode. Bye.